Welcome back, folks. We finished up our last village here, uh, Vensor, and now we are heading out this way to try and get these. Uh, so, yeah. But first, of course, Smoldering City and buy upgrades. Now, we want to get one of these up here, I think. Uh, so, rain collector filter. Powerful equipment for filtering small crystals. Crystallized dew can be produced in the rain collector, but worker resolve is lowered by minus five. Rain punk foundry. A very advanced piece of technology can produce parts, infuse tools, pack of building materials. That sounds quite nice. Oh, I can't click that. Oh, that's a little bit of a shame. Okay, then we have Tiniest Gate, uh, plus one in Bark Point, which is very nice. And a Cornerstone, Back to Nature, an old forbidden ritual, sacrifice one villager each drizzle for 100% more yield in all buildings using fertile soil. I don't think I'd ever choose that. Uh, then there's Obsidian Archive, uh, plus one Cornerstone available, extends the range of Cornerstone options to be chosen at the beginning of each year by one. That is very nice and might well be what we select. Uh, then we have Monastery of the Vigilant Flame. Uh, ancient ritual, ruthless but effective. The storm is 25% shorter, but what one villager is killed after each clearance. Okay. And another cornerstone. Gain one amber for every 40 wood produced, which is pretty great, actually. And the last one up here, first dawn headquarters. Obsidian tools, 50% to amount of goods produced in the homestead. And the homestead building, which can produce grain at three star, vegetables at two star, mushrooms at two star, plant fibers at three star. Wow. Wow. So I think it's between this one and this one. This is insane though. And this building blueprint is awesome. I mean, we could also go down here, can Bruce Amber at three stars. Okay, simple tools and training gear. There's a tool shop. Uh, and a cooperage. Eh. Cookhouse. Which is actually pretty nice. New trader. Cornerstone. Gain three oil for every ten flour produced. That's not bad. And the Druid's Hut, which can produce oil, mushrooms, uh, mush soup, and offerings. Uh, cornerstone, ancient stabilizer. A strange relic that fits into the hearth. Wood production is higher by plus one, but the storm lasts 25% longer. Eesh. And the Alchemist's Hut, which can produce oil, crystallized dew, and barrels. No, I think I'm going to go for the plus one cornerstone. It doesn't give us more cornerstones in total, but it give us, gives us uh, more cornerstones to choose from. And we're going to go here, I think. Yeah, it's here. So, 30 food, 60 experience. We get Lizard Friendship, one additional Lizard will come with each group of newcomers, and plus three to Lizard's Resolve, which is quite nice. And yeah, pretty standard stuff. It was hard, right? Yeah, hard. Alright, well, we're of course doing the uh, group of Beavers. And then we'll do Beaver Clan Support, I think. And then we have two left. Which we will use on 
Um, I guess some eggs and some fruits. Some eggs and some clay, maybe. Yeah, eggs and clay. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. So, worms after the rain. Okay. Insects can be gathered in the scavengers camp. Uh, okay. Uh, small uh, will wild growth. Small energizing drops cause uncontrollable growth in some species. All resource nodes discovered during drizzle have ten more charges. Okay, so we really want to open up uh, glades during drizzle. Uh, at hostility one, we need housing. Or our units will move forty percent slower. At hostility two, we have resisting flora. The tree seems to come to life during the storm. Cutting is 90% slower, but each fallen tree gives five meat. Okay. That's both good and bad. And then at hostility seven, Grim Fate, the forest will claim a villager's life. Each storm multiplied by the amount of years. Ouch. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. So, wow, that is a big glade. We want to get in there. Can't go in there yeah it, we can look to the uh, head looked bigger to me like it was a forbidden one okay all right all right all right all right, all right. let's get started shall we uh woodcutters let's see We'll go here and here. Now there's some roots there. There we will do the usual paths, but we might as well let them get going. I don't know exactly where uh, I want the. The farm to be there. Okay. Uh, housing. Uh, shelters. Let's see. I want a shelter there. I want one there. One there. And then we'll see as we open up stuff. There we go. All right, let's mark this as well. Fine. Okay, let's make uh, farm fields. I can't see if there's more in there. Small farm, perfect. Ooh, I want the workshop as well though. Let's pick the small farm and the herb garden. And the lumber mill. All right. Let's get going. Uh, let's see, small farm. Kind of needs to go here. Ah, I can go there as well. Unless there's more in there. So let's just see that before we start putting anything down. There's some coal. Some mushrooms and some insects, but the forage. Uh, so that's the foragers and the trappers camp, but wasn't it also. I was a cornerstone that we didn't get that allowed us to use the scavengers camp. Alright, so. 
One pack of crops for every 16. That's kind of nice. Uh, buy one there. Gain to amber for every five packs of trade goods produced there. Plus two to reproduction. We are going to go with the leftover crops. Um, one, two, three. So it's actually there. One, two, three. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, industry, we need a crude workstation. It can go there. Let's see. Humans resolve above 55 for 30 seconds. That's no problem. But I'd rather have that. Uh, trading post, amber, small farm, rain. Hmm. Let's go with the trading post. Then it's humans resolve again. But I kind of rather have this one. All right. Are we going to get through to this glade? I really hope we are. In drizzle. Uh, let's chop this first. Come on, guys, you can do it. Yes. Alright, so we got some roots and some stone here. N not bad, not bad. Uh, we do need a stone cutters camp so let's build that we will i guess put a couple of lizards in here this is fine and i think we'll kind of mark this out for chopping Okay, there isn't any more. So, the small farm. You know what? Let's put it up here. Okay, let's uh, chop. Some of this out. And we have the stone cutters camp. Uh, I want one of these lizards. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, lizard. Move this down here, chop this down. Uh, let's see. This is all fine for now. We have the wood. Uh, we'll get a little bit more, I think. Before we turn that in, so that we have enough to get through. Uh, the storm here. All right, we can put in a Let's put in a lizard house here. All right, the farm is going up. We'll put one human in there for now. Uh, 
I really want to open up these. Um. All right. <clears throat> Do I want to do it now, though? This is a nice big glade, man. I mean, I suppose it do. Let's get ready to get down here. That's it. Okay. Okay, we can deliver this now. And that means that in here we can put in one of you. Cornerstone. No. That's not bad. Five pottery per minute is really good. Five pottery per minute. Please. Let's see. New building. Um, foragers camp might actually be okay. Because... We have these, which the foragers camp can do. This oh, this is the herbalist camp. So no. Then there's the grove, which I don't actually mind. I could also do the herbalist camp. Also reroll. Uh, stamping mill, flower, bars, incense, fabric, pottery, and trade goods. Now, the mammal habitat does that provide happiness? That is my question. I'm gonna go with that. I'm not gonna go with two one one. What are you missing? Fabric. Let's make some fabric and let's set. Um, let's just do 30 of each. Seems like a good number to me. Uh, 30, 30, uh, incense. Let's say 30 here as well. And this is fine for now. Flour, we want 100 copper bars. Let's do 30. Don't want any of that yet. Simple tools, we will set a limit of 14, I think. Okay. That's fine. We are chopping our way through to the next glades. 
We do need to build a mine, I think. A mine would be pretty good. So let's do that. Uh, we got another lizard. Uh, path. Let's keep that path going down this way. Two, one, two, three. Here. Right. What did we open up? This one. There's copper. And there is most decidedly some farm fields, which is great. So this path can come out this way. Uh, Okay, this is almost done, so I'm not going to chop those down right now. Uh, housing. We want uh, two human houses. We want five beaver houses. That's three. Uh, it's two lizard houses. We need one more of those as well. All right, well, let's uh, do this for starters. Okay. I don't think we need more than one human in here. Now well, we do actually. But for one farm tile, I don't think that's worth it. Uh, let's see. Coal and building materials. Building materials. Okay, so we need a makeshift post. Uh, let's chop this as well, and actually let's chop this as well. Alrighty, so the human houses are done. Uh, we need to build a trading post. Let's just put it there. Ready? Storms just started. Okay. Uh, you have that. All right, uh, let's put in uh, food production, farm fields. Uh, you are not on. No. <coughs> food production. Let's get another small farm. Okay, we don't have any planks stored up, 
Hopefully that means that these all have planks waiting. No, that one did. Uh, what was that? It sounded like we opened up a... Sounded like we opened up a... A glade, but we didn't. But we're going to now. Uh, so you move down here and we'll open this up. It's a nice big glade. Uh, cornerstone. No. No additional villagers. Uh, the forest recedes as heavily guarded trade currents pour into the settlement. Facility is reduced by 15 points every time you sell goods worth 40 amber. Okay. Scouts learn how to be very careful when looting, abandoned caches. Every open cache lowers hostility by 15. Okay. Uh, traders will now run 25% quicker and packs of trade goods will be sold for plus 25 more. Uh, I think we'll go with this one. Uh, 50 leisure. Yeah. And what's that? Open two caches of any size found in the forest. Or two ancient tablets. Workers assigned to glade events will carry five more items at once. All right, we'll pick that. Okay. Now, we have a trader here. We don't really have anything to trade him. Which is a shame. Uh, but what about trade routes? Because over here we could trade for ale. So we could set up a rain collector. Make spark do. Trade that. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Let's move you over here. Uh, we can put the path in there now. Uh, let's put the rain collector in here. And... What was it? We have one, two, three beaver houses, two lizard houses. So we need one more lizard house at least. And another two beaver houses at least. Okay. I think I'll take four and one, and that means another two beaver houses or lizard houses, sorry. And a human house. All right. Uh, we have our small farm here. Uh, 
Let's move you out here and open up this little glade. Okay. Well, there are some houses going up. Alright. Come on, guys. Open up this dangerous glade. Let's find out what's in there. Okay. Not much. It's good that we have coal. So, nothing can stop a hungry stone tooth termite swarm from feeding. Destroys all stored building materials, bricks, fabric, planks. Okay. Harvesting and planting are 75% slower. Ouch. Agitated termites can be a real nuisance. Minus nine to global resolve. We can convert it into a. It contains those through to burrow. It now serves as a source of edible insects. You know what? We'll do that. Yeah. That's you. Hey, uh, let's up this wood. All right, that's the ten coal. Delivered. We opened up here. There's some eggs for a scavenger's camp and some roots. Not a whole lot of roots, though. Um, all right, we can do exploration. Oops, that's not what I wanted to open. So that's six and five. Let's deliver that. Okay. And we're definitely going to get a path going down here once we open this up. And then we're going to get a hearth and a storage down here, I think. Clothier. That is pretty darn good. Smokehouse is pretty darn good as well. Um... We need housing, which is fine. That's all. We don't actually need clothes, but it does make people happier if they have it. Hmm. But so does complex food, and now we are getting insects. Smokehouse. So we need 14, we have six. All right. But we are out of time. Uh, we need beavers for that. We only have one in here. Okay. Hmm. All right, so uh, we'll continue on and next time we will get this road going down here, this path going down this way and hopefully get some good things going. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.